So what they found is a lot of these biomarkers for the centenarians were, were tightly clustered within optimal ranges. So let's talk about the 2023 centenarian biomarker He's study. Gonna... <laughs> so they looked, they looked at they looked at 1800 plus centenarians <laughs> versus age mark control. So they looked at the regular sick population. They looked at people that were um, centenarians at 100, 100 plus years and that they looked at kidney function. Mm -hmm. that, that's one of the key things you should be looking for in your blood test, right? And this reflects better filtration of your kidneys, um, lower metabolic stress. So these people had a very low metabolic stress, very low oxidative stress in their bodies. The inflammation was low right. too. So they looked at C-reactive protein, which was significantly lower amongst the centenarians. Um, and that suggested that... <laughs> <laughs> Chronic inflammation. Me now. <laughs> the optimal level longevity range is less than right. 0.5 milligrams per liter. So they also looked at albumin levels, which was an indicator of protein and liver function. Mm -hmm. They had um, um, high levels of that, which suggested strong nutritional status, better immune buffering, mm -hmm. and liver health. And things like the liver enzymes were well balanced as well, the right. ALT and ASTs. <laughs> the age match controls, they actually showed that they all were in optimal levels.